the next thing to try is to run it right so I'll start the program it prints welcome message then how many times you want to play I will enter three times uh, it actually brings my message a couple of times and goes again to say how many times to play I will enter zero and it says goodbye so this is the entire uh, dialogue with the system let's uh, make it visible in our recording as well so if I try to use this dialogue this is how it looks like So what, uh, what I don't like is that uh, I, enter, uh, uh, I enter three, but uh, this message ping pong somehow gets printed only twice, right? So this is uh, something unexpected. Well, apparently this is because uh, uh, I decrement uh, shot count uh, before displaying the message. So I think if I change this to a post decrement, it could be for uh, fixing this problem, right? So instead of uh, uh, decrementing it before analyzing its value, first analyze its value and then decrement the variable. So let's see if this changes so that the, the message ping pong gets printed three times uh, as expected as opposed to two times. Uh, run it again print three and you see that the uh, this time yes indeed uh, the problem was fixed so after this change now the display over here changes to three times ping pong message being uh, being displayed okay and um, so what could be so we have some basic setup for interacting with the user we have a loop which is responsible for reading values from uh, from the user right we're asking for a specific number and we read that uh, we are also using it as a loop uh, con uh, controlling condition so that if everything uh, is okay the loop will continue but if uh, something happens something wrong happens to the input uh, we will uh, get out of the loop and not uh, let program to run out of control right so it's typically a good idea to do these types of um, manipulations with input wrapped as a condition or otherwise in the future we'll learn that once you make an input we can analyze the state of the input and find out whether it's in good state or not and do some additional actions but that's in the future for now this is a very basic uh, uh, approach uh, to to handle the input wrap it in the condition and as soon as the as long as condition is good is true we can safely assume everything is okay right then we have this immediate check and then we have an internal loop which uh, keeps printing these messages as as long as the user ha you know has requested us to do this so what could be improved um, how about um, um, you know if if the rules of the game continue to um, uh, continue to get more complicated and I start to add additional features very likely that this portion of the program this entire inner loop of my program is likely to get longer and longer and longer and will take perhaps few screens of space uh, inside the source code right so this is my concern I would like to reorganize this code so that it uh, is uh, better organized well perhaps what i can do is uh, i can take uh, uh, <clears throat> um, i can i can i can organize a program like this i can take uh, I, I can create a function 
uh, first uh, in a function uh, declaration the first uh, part of it uh, would uh, be the the return type the the type of the value that function returns uh, typically when i don't know what the function should return i just declare it uh, it's a return type void void means it does not return any values uh, let me call it ping for now okay and it will take int uh, short count okay so I'm adding this function to my program and uh, so step number one I can say if this short count equals um, a zero then simply return don't do anything because there is nothing to do essentially the idea is uh, nothing to do anymore right uh, if it's zero if it's not zero then we can decrement short count actually let's first print the message like this and since I'm focusing on the pink part of it, right, on the pink part, I'll just bring pink over here. And um, then, <clears throat> if I want to continue this, uh, this uh, series of calls, as long as the count is non-zero, this is what I could do. I can have... I can call this function again from within itself and pass short count which is one less right so if we go back to our timeline my plan is that if I have a function like this Right. What it can do, it first uh, can check the value of how many times to play and uh, say if it's zero, then do nothing. Very safe approach. Secondly, it can do its payload, do the actual work, print something, and then continue this uh, with the ping calling, calling itself, but this time with one lesser count. Uh, of um, of the <clears throat> of the number of shots to play so this will look like this this is our ping right so our main what it does right so it it starts calling over here into so this has to be pushed out uh, I don't know where where this is going to end up um, and this is all needs to adjust this whole timeline right this is when we return to the operating system but first thing that we do we make a call over here into ping so ping does its thing and uh, occasionally what uh, ping does right so it starts to execute occasionally it calls itself right so what it does it, it essentially it uh, calls itself let's show it like this right so it calls itself and and possibly continues like this then if the the shot as long as shot count is not zero it will continue so we can uh, we can observe that it's going to call itself again and so forth but eventually it will finish and it will return back to the caller right so it will finally return back to the caller like this and we will eventually return return back to the operating system so let me preserve a original version of the main function which did some prototyping in terms of the basic setup of printing messages getting user input uh, applying some sort of logic to modify the count value and uh, uh, print uh, the results right so I will just preserve this older version so this was version 1 and this time let's modify it to use the new brand new function name ping 
right so this is the closing brace of our function and this is the closing brace of our main function and so this is what we do uh, instead of having this internal while loop I will get rid of it and say uh, ping and call it with the specified shot count let's see what this does and again I, I modified the message just, just to bring the ping for portion of the game so that it's easy for me to track what is happening right so notice that this is compared to the older version of the code I would consider this to be already an improvement because I'm expecting this to grow large and complicated whereas right now it's just uh, being um, reduced to a single function call and uh, over here you can see that this is this is the timeline that i'm expecting uh, that the main function calls into ping ping calls itself and then calls itself again eventually returns 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 and we return to the operating system eventually right uh, so but uh, this complexity now can be hidden inside a function which potentially could call other functions and uh, this uh, uh, time it calls itself by the way a technique when the function calls itself is called recursion right so the function instead of returning just calls itself and eventually uh, all of them, uh, I mean, one of these calls will, will run into shot count equals zero, so it will immediately return. And then automatically all the rest, the rest of the calls will also return. So we can play with this uh, organization in debug session to observe how, uh, how it behaves at, at the runtime. But uh, let's do the testing. So built uh, something is not, uh, yeah, I misspelled the name of my variable. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, so now it's time to run it. <clears throat> 